Okay, I'm going to show you how to clean and change out one of these lenses. So I brought the fence forward so you can see where, it, where it's at and I can sit down and I can do this really quick. It doesn't take that long. So what you're going to need is you're going to need either this piece that came with it, you know, it's that little flat metal piece uh, to uh, lens removal tool, or you can go online um, and get one that's a little bit easier to use. I think these are like 25, 30 bucks, and uh, I'll see if I can't find where I got this one at, uh, or a comparable one. So, you got these two rings right here. You're gonna unhook those. And you're gonna unscrew from your air nozzle and I'll show you where you can get more of these. I saw a lot of people had questions about where to buy these little air tube nozzles because they do get burned up and they do get full of gunk and I've replaced mine like two or three times now. Uh, so now you've got it off, you've got that little metal ring on top of your uh, laser lens, correct? Uh, and then on the bottom side, you probably got a bunch of carbon and stuff. I change mine out probably twice a day. I, I, I pull it out to clean it. Uh, so we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna use my tool um, you know what? I'll use the metal tool to pull it out and this one to put it in. So we're just going to go in there, these two slots. I don't know if you can see, but there's two slots right there. And this is going to fit right in those and twist it out. Now, big important thing to do here is not to touch the lens with your hands. The oils on your hands can actually cause damage to the lens when you turn it back on. Uh, I'll show you what to do there. So let's... So I actually found holding this still and turning the head piece is actually a little bit easier than trying to spin this metal flat piece inside here. So a little trick you can use. Okay, so we got this out. We're going to pull off the little metal bracket, little metal ring, and we're going to set it down and uh, we're gonna end up popping this out. So this thing I have down here, this is just a shop towel. You know those uh, blue shop towels, these things, I use them for everything in my shop. Uh, and I'll put a link as well where you can get those. So we're just gonna lay that down there. So now we got our head detached from our ring and our laser uh, lens, which I'll also show you a link where to get laser lenses that don't cost you 200 bucks a piece. Uh, you can get these for uh, about 30 bucks or so on Amazon, and I'll, I'll show you where down below. So I have these. These are what I use to clean the lens. I use the multi-surface cleaner. It's for electronics. Uh, it's by Indust, and uh, they work wonders. So you just pull one. These also work really well for cleaning your mirrors. You just wipe them off, let them dry. Uh, we're going to pick that guy up. Again, don't touch it with your hands. And we'll just lay that back down. So, there you go, that guy's clean. Now, I always like to clean this lens at least. This is the one that gets dirtiest, fastest. Lens three and lens two, which you're not gonna be able to see me clean there. But now we're gonna take the same dust uh, rag here and we're just gonna clean off the tip of this guy. Give it a look through, make sure it's not clogged up, and she's good to go. Clean around the edge of this, just get some of that resin off of there. All right, so that guy is clean. Now, if you're going to be swapping out your laser lenses, you're gonna need, uh, swapping out your laser nozzles uh, for a different lens, like I going from like a two inch lens to a four inch lens, then you're gonna need this tool. You got these little, little dots here, you got this tool with these nipples on it, and they're just gonna fit right in there. And you can pop open that, and it'll just spin open, and you put the new lens on there, our laser tip on there. Uh, but for this sake, uh, we don't need to do that. But it's as simple as that, to, tr to change out to a, a different lens. You just pull off this one, and you put on you know, the four inch, which is uh, you know much bigger. Okay, so we got that done. Now this is the uh, trickiest part. 
Oh, notice what I did there? So I just pulled off a little piece of this. I got the concave or uh, uh, concurved edge on the top, so it's going like this up, right? You want the, the higher end of this concave lens facing up. There we go. So put it in sideways like that, and you can actually push it in, because if you try and just drop it in there, it's going to drop off kilter, and uh, it won't be aligned up right. Then you're going to put this guy on here, just give it you know, two or three good threads, and then we'll use this tool to put it back on. This is so much simpler. So just palm it like that, and you could just guide it in. This way, you don't get misthreaded, and it just goes in really quick and easy. Okay, so there you go. You got a clean laser head. Just want to attach your air assist nozzle back onto it. Make sure it's nice and snug there. Put it up there. First, put the bottom ring on. You don't want to over tighten it. And then your top ring there. And you are good to go. So that's it. That's all there is to it. Uh, this little piece here is used to. Uh, measure from the top of your uh, ledge here to the top of your materials. So, I'll show you. So, you get the proper distance uh, from your laser lens to your material because, as you know, all that, that concave top is going to focus the lens. So, you want that laser, that focal point, to be right at where your material is. Okay? And that's all there is to it, so you just line it up, put it wherever you need to go, and you're off to the races. So until next time, be good.